Hello, my name is Sahil Malik. I'm a trainer and consultant and I love Angular. I deliver trainings on Angular regularly and you can find my email address right here. Here's another video making yet another Angular concept easy and simple to understand. As always, I look forward to your feedback. Thank you for watching. So in Angular, your application is comprised of multiple components. There's components that need to talk to each other. You use concepts like input, output to do data binding. You can even do two-way data binding. These are concepts I've talked about in my other Angular videos on YouTube, so you can check them out. Now let me talk about an interesting concept called as view child or view children, right? The idea here is that, let me give you a walkthrough of my application so far. So basically I have a to-do component and to-dos component. Again, how I've built these components, check out my other videos. And basically what I want to be able to do is, uh, you know, the application looks like this. If I check this, it informs which is the last to-do change. I can complete the to-do and so on and so forth. This is to-do control, rest of it is to-dos other than that H1 tag up there. So that's how my application is built. And a boss comes up and says, I, he's pretty lazy and he wants a button down here that says mark all of these complete. So what I want to be able to do is that with one button, I want to talk to all the internal elements, all these to-dos, and I want to mark all of them complete with one button. How do we do that? Okay, it's pretty simple. So um, let's see, let's go to to-do component.html, to-dos component.html first. And the first thing I want to do is that I want to add a button here that is going to mark all of these to-dos complete, right? So that's obviously the first thing I need to do. Let's close all of these. Getting a little confused in all these files. And oops, not there, not there. See, I was getting confused. So in the to-dos component.html, I want to add a button here called mark all complete. So click on this, it's going to call mark all complete. And in here, I'm going to basically say, somehow I want to, you know, I want to write a method here called mark all complete, okay? So let's go down here. And somehow I want to mark all the to-dos complete. Now let's make it simple. Can I just iterate over this array and just change the value? Yeah, I could. But imagine if it was a little bit more complicated. Imagine if this to-do component had some crazy logic embedded in it. Let's say when I mark something complete, it is changing a backend system, right? So I want to have a very complicated method here called mark complete on the to-do component. And somehow from to-do's component, I want to call mark complete on all the to-do components that are there on the to-do's component.ts, okay? Rewind and play this one more time, just so it's clear to you. Okay, so to-dos component.ts somehow needs to get a hold of all of the to-do components that are there on this page. Well, how do we do that? It's very simple. Here I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of imports called view children and query list at the very top. And then I'm gonna go down here and because I have uh, you know, this view children query list here, I can just, you know, ask Angular to just give me a list of all the to-do components that are there on this page. Of course, for that till to go away, I will need to, uh, you know, import that. So this variable here will be hydrated with all the to-do components that are there on this page. Yeah, it's as simple as that, really. Nothing more to it. It was like one component, like, and then I would say view child, and more than one, view children. There are some other uh, you know, nuances to that as well. So here I'm gonna go ahead and basically say mark all complete. And now because I have that variable, I can just go ahead and mark all of them complete with one button. Simple as that, happy boss, happy me. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this button mark all complete, and now it is calling the method on the to do component to mark all the individual to-dos complete. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thank you very much for watching.